it's here! Yay! <laughs> the March version of Power BI adds a really helpful feature for creating charts. In this video, let me show you what this feature is all about and how it can make you awesome with Power BI. Let's go! Make sure that you have the March 2023 version of Power BI. To check this, go to the help ribbon, click on about and look for this word March 2023 or above. Then we need to go to file, options and settings, options, preview features and enable the on object interaction feature. This is the new feature that they have added in the March version. It will require you to restart your Power BI. Ta-da! We now have a new way to work with visuals within Power BI. You would notice that in the home ribbon, now they have put all the chart options right here rather than as a panel on the side. Not only this increases the screen space we have for us to work with the visualizations that you're building, but it also kind of makes it more natural the way Excel works. Now let's see what this is all about. I'm just gonna use the sample data set and let's make our very first visual. To add the visuals, we can just pick any visual from here. Let's go with the column chart and expand this out. To build this visual, previously you would have to go to the visualizations panel, drag and drop the fields there. But now we can just select the visual from here. You can just click on that little button and then add the x-axis and y-axis data. There is these add data buttons right there and you can click on them and then select, for example, country and units sold. If you do have any measures, they will always show up there so you can pick them as well. So this is the first thing. Let's say you're looking at this and you would like to add data labels. You can click on this little paintbrush and introduce data labels right from here. You don't need to go and find the option from the visualizations panel anymore. Everything that you want to do always appears right there. You don't like the title, just double click here and select the title and type whatever you want. If you want to apply some formatting, you can just select the grid lines, for example, right click, and then you can change the fill colors, line colors of whatever you want. And let's say you are building this and you change your mind. You don't want to have these columns. You want to have a bar chart. You can go back here and pick the bar chart type from there. Let's add one more chart. Apart from using these buttons, you can always go back to the data view here, expand your table, and you can still drag and drop the stuff. So let's just say, I want to see our product and gross sales. And we can use the suggest a type option so that Power BI can recommend a type of chart for you. Alternatively, you can go and pick your own from the pile of things that we have here. Let's see how to change the blue color. Initially, I was right clicking, but that was not enough. So we had to kind of right click a couple of times until this pop up thing comes up here. And then from there, you can change the color to something else. So it does while introduce a new way of working with the visuals. I feel like maybe it's not obvious and we need to work a little bit more to get a good feel of what happens. One of the cool features that I like is if you have a title like this, you can go select the title. You can do some quick formatting by right clicking and applying fonts and whatnot. But alternatively, you can keep the title selected, go to the format pane. And from here, you can do full level formatting, whatever we normally do. And the cool thing that I like is the subtitle feature. If we enable this, the title gets split into two lines. So now we have two level titles where I can put a high level title and then introduce another title for my information. And the fun part is both of them can be controlled through conditional formatting. So if you know how to write a conditional formatting rule to generate the title for my main title, I could do the same with my subtitle as well and make the whole visual so much more helpful and useful for our audience. The other thing that they have done is instead of individual panels, now all the panels have their own icons and you can kind of switch between them one at a time. I'm not a huge fan of this because sometimes I may want to see everything together and it's not really sure how to have both the data view and the format view 
on the screen all the time. So how do you know when you are editing the chart versus when you are clicking on something to do the interaction? Here is the clue. It took me a while to figure this out. If you double click on the chart, the border around it changes to this blue color box layout. So you have four boxes in blue color and whatever clicks you do now, right click will open up these format options. Whereas if I just click on the chart, I have the usual black color border around it and any clicks that I do at that point will interact with the visuals and any right click I do shows me this right click button options. So what do you think? The on object thing within Power BI, yay or nay? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Power BI, check out the videos that show up somewhere here on the screen. And this thing here, click on it to subscribe. Bye.